Hello, welcome to your library information literacy workshop. My name is Christopher Jimenez. I am the web services librarian as well as the history liaison. Um, we are going to be looking at a couple of pages here. Uh, this first page is LAS 6003, the Survey of Latin American and Caribbean Studies LibGuide. Um, that would be at library.fiu.edu forward slash LAS 6003. This page was created by your Latin American and Caribbean Information Services librarian, Gail Williams. Gail is currently on sabbatical, so I am going to go over this guide and, uh, and, and place it within the context of library research so that you can use this guide effectively to help you uh, have success in your course as far as the research components. Now, the other page we're going to look at is, of course, library.fiu.edu. That is the library homepage is where we're going to go ahead and get started with the um, with your library research. Now, notice that when you're on this page, we do have this ask us uh, chat box that pops right out. In fact, it's on this page as well, your guide page. Whenever a librarian is currently online, this will pop out and will give you the option to chat now. That means that a librarian like myself or uh, when Gail is back from her sabbatical like her as well, um, we all uh, rotate. And, uh, and sit in front of our computers waiting for a, a, a student to come online and ask us a research question. <clears throat> um, you'll also notice um, right here on the very top, we do have this discovery tab, which allows you to search for anything. Note that this does search through all of our collections, which means that if you don't have a very, uh, very specific search uh, strategy, it will bring back way too many results for you to really um, uh, for it to be really effective. So we're going to walk through several steps to help you to um, isolate the information to get the best possible results out of out of your searching. OK, so here we are at the LAS 6003 <clears throat> uh, Survey of Latin American and Caribbean Studies LibGuide. Um, our first page we're going to go over is how to find books. Now, um, <clears throat> this uh, this very first page gives you a five step uh, procedure uh, for using the the catalog uh, to be able to find books. It seems intimidating, but really it's it's very simple. What I'm going to do is go over to library.fi.edu and instead of running the search here in discovery, we're just going to switch it over to catalog and I'm going to pop in my sample search here um, <clears throat> for Mesoamerica um, evolution of a, of a civilization. Um, so if I know the title, again, I'm just going to switch the tab over from discovery to catalog. Um, and here we go. It's uh, Mesoamerica, the evolution of a civilization. I can go ahead and open that record by clicking on the title. You can see some information about it. Um, <clears throat> just so you know, <clears throat> you can email the record to yourself. You can also get a link back to this uh, particular uh, view. And you can see the citation right from inside um, the, the catalog. As I scroll down, you'll see that you know the location information uh, and that it is available at the general location, uh, general collection. And here's the call number, so you can go right up to the shelf and pull it off the shelf to read it. But that's not uh, that's not what we're doing here, of course. When we're searching the catalog for research purposes, we really want to kind of facilitate discovery to find more information. Um, so you'll see as you scroll all the way down that there's this virtual browse option here on in the catalog. So you can see kind of what it, the shelf looks like. Again, this 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 call number, right, um, is not just you know a place on the shelf where it is, but it's also a um, a recording of the subject itself. So other books on that subject will be right next to it. So you have Mesoamerica right here in the middle. You've got general history of the things of New Spain on the left. And you have visions of ancient America to the right. And you can continue browsing to see what else is on that shelf. So this might be the book that you're looking for, but this might be the book that you need. Um, and so on and so forth. Um, and you can do this as well using the subject headings. Um, <clears throat> So we see that there's human geography, Mexico, human ecology, Mexico, Indians of Mexico, antiquities, right? So, you know, as you continue your search, you can actually click on these and this will run a whole new search through the library catalog of other materials that have this subject placed on it. These subjects that are um, created and you can read more about subjects here on on uh, Gail's page as she gives sample subject headings again for geography, 
for history, right? Uh, for uh, culture and creative expression. She, she, she breaks it down for you uh, very nicely here on this page. So I, I suggest you look at that. Um, again, look at those subject headings. If you already have a subject heading, right, from the FIU Library's homepage, um, you can actually run that search uh, from the get-go. You can go right here to Find and click on Books, eBooks, Audio, and Video. Again, this is all detailed on the guide. But when you click there, that takes you to an advanced search of the catalog where you can go ahead and take a subject heading, paste it right in the search, change your field from any field to subject, and run your search. So boom, right away, you're running a search that's very specific, right? for uh for a subject so all this material is going to be given that subject of um human geography in mexico and again you have more information about subject headings on the page and you can look at this library of congress classification uh, outline which will show you that um you know, the breakdown of where the 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 knowledge is grouped um, you may have noticed that that the first call number was an F. You might be looking at uh, materials in F or in E or in, in, in other places or in D, right, um, depending on your subject. Along similar lines, we do have uh, another page that's focused on journal articles, right? So uh, for journal articles, we do have databases that are specific to uh, Latin American and Caribbean studies. And here's how you're going to find that. So when you go to, again, the library homepage, library.fi.edu, under find, you're going to click on the A to Z list. And on the A to Z list, this is literally an alphabetical listing of all the databases that we have uh, access to here at, uh, at Florida International University. Um, if your professor gave you a database that you're specifically going to, you know, supposed to look through, like let's say Hoppy Online, you're going to type that in right here in the search, and you can go ahead and go directly to that database and, and run your search. Of course, you can also click through alphabetically uh, using this, uh, this uh, set of, of links here. In addition, under Browse and Filter, we do have uh, three dropdowns that you can use to kind of filter through all of our databases. The first one I really want to call your attention to is All Subjects. And if you go to All Subjects, you can scroll down to Latin American and Caribbean Studies. And these are all uh, databases that Gail has identified as uh, databases that are useful for the, uh, for the uh, research in uh, Latin American and Caribbean Studies. Of course, your best bets are called out in the top. These are the databases that um, just about everybody in the um, in the field um, should be aware of, or and and usually typically uses a first thing, right? And then once you've exhausted these, then you can check out um, some of these other databases uh, that might be a bit more niche, but might actually be perfect for your uh, for your needs. Um, now, as I not here, but as I go back uh, to our LibGuide, you will you will see that some of these same databases have been called out here on the first page of the Find Journal Articles uh, um, page here. Um, but note that, you know, the, our studies are interdisciplinary. So while you may find a lot of good information on Latin American and Caribbean um, uh, databases, there are other disciplines um, that might be helpful. So as I scroll down, I can I can tell you right from from looking at them that we have some anthropology databases, we have some religious studies databases, you have some history databases, you have some um, international relations um, databases, and some sociology um, uh, databases. Uh, so keep that in mind as uh, to not just limit yourself by what we have uh, described as you know, Latin American and Caribbean studies, but also look at, let's say, uh, you can look at modern languages, you can look at um, Middle East, well, not Middle East studies, um, though that it might, that might come into play, actually. Um, but you might look at uh, history databases or, um, you know, or, or anthropology or what have you. I'm going to go ahead and clear all these filters and go, actually, I'm going to go back to the library homepage. Um, the next 
uh, page here that 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 we have on your on your guide is uh, databases, right? Databases for newspapers, primary sources, and other types of content, right? So again, we're going to go to the same place, right? This where you are going to go to that database uh, list from you know from the library homepage. We're going to go to find and click on A to Z list. But this time, instead of of filtering by subject, although we can do that. Um, we're going to filter by database type and I'm going to click on archives and primary sources. Note that you can also filter by newspapers. OK, um, but if you filter by archives and primary sources, you can see all these databases that may contain archival or primary source materials. OK, and of course, you can filter by a second uh, subject here. I'm going to go ahead and try uh, Latin American and Caribbean studies. We have 17 databases found in the intersection of Latin American and Caribbean studies and archives and primary sources. Right. And you don't have to have that filter there. You can actually um, go ahead and change that back to all subjects. You can change that to anthropology. You can change that to history. You can change that as 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 you wish. But you have here laid out on your guide um, some of the databases that might be good for Latin American and Caribbean studies, right? <clears throat> and again, um, when you come back here to your A to Z database list, you don't have to use um, archives and primary sources. If you're interested in newspapers, you can go to newspapers. There are 81 newspapers. And note that when you, um, you know, you can limit here to Latin American and Caribbean studies. So now we know that we have newspapers that are published, uh, likely published in Latin America or in you know, the Caribbean. Real quickly, uh, Gail has also laid out several internet sources that, have, that, that she has vetted or she knows uh, are, are very good and very useful for Latin American and Caribbean studies. Um, I would certainly, uh, we would all certainly uh, recommend that you check these out as you're continuing your studies. Maybe one of these uh, uh, websites uh, might be uh, oriented towards a, a particular project that you are doing, let's say posters. So you would, you, it, would be, it would behoove you to check out this Latin American posters collection from Princeton uh, University. We also have, um, you know, in order to extend your services, we also have this service called Interlibrary Loan. So, it you know, it, while while our our library collections, our our catalog, our database list is might be quite large, um, we don't have everything in the world, right? Um, but uh, we do have access to the world, and we do that through Interlibrary Loan. So, if um, if you know of material that uh, that might be helpful or useful or if you're searching in a database and it pops up that we don't have a particular article um, you can go ahead and use interlibrary loan uh, to connect to the uh, web of of connections that we have uh, either within the state uh, around the country or even around the globe um, to borrow materials from other libraries Click on interlibrary loan. If this is your first time using it, you will need to click on first time users uh, to set up your profile. Um, and then once you've logged in, you can request it. So either requesting a full book, um, a full article, um, or even a, a book chapter. Note here that it does take some time to receive the request, right? Journal articles usually are scanned electronically, um, you know, and you usually can get it within 24 to 48 hours. Um, books do take longer to arrive because it depends on the mail system. However, if you know that, you know, if let's say you run a, a world cat search, right? Uh, and you run this search for the book and you know that you get the chapter breakdown. You have chapter one has this, chapter two has that, chapter three and so on and you know you need chapter five, you can go into interlibrary loan and request just that one chapter so that we can maybe negotiate with the, the institution, the lending institution, to try and scan that one chapter for you so that it comes quicker, you receive it digitally, and, and, you, know, and you don't have to wait that you know, long time for the mail uh, system to deliver a book. So keep that in mind that you, we do have that option, okay? Um, of course, you could always go to University of Li Miami Libraries um, to check out, uh, maybe not to check out materials, but to look at materials and scan uh, chapters. You can also go to um, Miami-Dade uh, College, 
as well as a Broward College, or you know, just keep in mind that there are other libraries around. Even the public libraries have materials that could be of use um, uh, for you. And as a final note, um, I'm going to point you to another LibGuide, uh, Citations and Pl Plagiarism Guide, that has um, information uh, that can help you to cite in various other styles, as well as using um, citation managers like RefWorks, uh, EndNote, and um, Zotero uh, to organize your research and allow and help you to, to build a bibliography. So again, the main website you want, websites you want to remember are um, library.fiu.edu forward slash LAS 6003. That will help you, um, you know, that will get you right here to this course guide, as well as uh, the library homepage, library.fiu.edu. Um, remember those tricks uh, to go ahead and find specific sources that can, um, you know, that can help you build your search strategy. Once you have a big search strategy and you can um, really identify and pick out what you want, uh, at that point, I would then um, recommend that you go back and run a discovery search, knowing more about your topic, being able to describe it in a longer uh, string, uh, and then to be able to evaluate it more quickly. So I hope this session was, was helpful, um, and I hope uh, that you have success in your research this semester.